Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Thursday, August 22nd, 2019. Um, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Please understand that this is a general reading and time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is dated for the 22nd, it doesn't mean it absolutely has to resonate on the 22nd. Yes? Um, yeah, so I'm feeling a little better today. The energies aren't so heavy. Um, I'm still kind of like taking, I'm still holding off a little bit for right now on personal readings. Um, I think I just want to, I'm not sure what I want to do about it. I'm not really sure. Um, it feels a little better today, but it's not, you know, completely lifted. All right. And our pre-shuffle energies are kind of saying that. Um, so let's get into them. Um, we do have the Two of Swords, all right? So, and the Two of Swords did come out yesterday as we were talking about things. It did come out on this side, all right? So, yeah, what Spirit just said with this card is right now it's like we're facing the situation, all right? There is, we're, it's almost as if we're at a moment of judgment here. Okay, it's interesting because even as I'm, I wasn't really getting it until well, I just got it a little more now that I'm talking about it, like talking through it with you. Um, we're facing a sort of judgment here, a judgment call, but it's it, it feels like a two of wands energy, not a two of swords, in the sense that we are facing uh, some sort of judgment in which direction we want to go in which path we want to move towards, which path we want to take, how do we want to proceed further. There is a halt on any sort of action right now. Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands in reverse, all right? Now, overall energy, we do have the Ace of Swords, okay? But on the other side here, we do have Temperance, which is in reverse. Um, and, okay. Basically, what Spirit is saying with this is there is a halt on any sort of... Um, Mm. All right, they're saying communication, any sort of action, any sort of balancing, alchemy, or whatnot. Um, we're about to, it's, yeah, okay. There's a halt on all this while downloads come in. Ace of Swords, while we gain clarity, while we gain the truth, okay? Uh, we're needing to really kind of trust our intuitions right now, especially if we're, if we're needing to make moves in, in environments in which we really can't see very well, okay? But there is a halt on any sort of progress right now. It's like we're, we're at this checkpoint here, judgment. We're at this judgment um, section, sector, uh, gaining some sort of wisdom and insight, insight here with the Ace of Swords before things can actually start to coalesce with temperance, come together with temperance. temperance. Uh, it's almost as if some of us are enter well uh, all of us really are about to enter into a new alchemization phase um that is a transformate transformative it is a transformation um and an accumulation okay let me say that again it is a transformation in 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 relation to the cumulative work we've done the effort that we've put forth okay that's what I'm getting here. There's a halt on the work, there's a halt on the action, there's a halt on the communication while some sort of spiritual checkpoint is assessed. Okay. Did I say accumulation? I meant culmination. <laughs> Whatever. All right, so okay, that's cool. That's our pre-shuffle. Let's see what we get into the for the rest of the day. I do want to mention that I have, I did buy, I mentioned this yesterday, but I bought a new Oracle deck. Um, and I bought it with intentions of using it for the divine partnership readings, uh, divine union readings, um, um, uh, divine mirror, twin flame, if you want to call it that, whatever. I am getting back into those at some point in the near future. Um, and so I bought this deck. I bought it with intentions of working, using it to work with the masculines. It's the Dragon Oracle cards. Um, I bought it with intentions to, for, to use it for Oracle guidance for the masculine readings, for the masculine energies. As I have a goddess deck that I got 
or I think like some sort of like feminine oriented deck that I got um, from a dear friend of mine that who gave me a bunch of cards that I'm going to use for the feminines. But this dragon deck here is calling out. I wanted to come forward today. I haven't really had a chance to really get acquainted with the deck. Um, but they really want to be want to come through and want to be worked with today. Um, so I'm going to use them for our Oracle guidance. <laughs> And I'm excited about it. I've already, like, I cleared out the deck and I was just shuffling a little bit and a message came out for me that was really quite, um, quite poignant. And I'm actually very happy about it. So I'm excited to see what guidance we get. Also keep in mind that they are doing construction across the street. So you'll probably hear that as well. Okay, excellent. All right, guys, here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Tuesday, August 20... Uh, Tuesday? No, I'm sorry. Thursday. <laughs> sorry, guys. Thursday, August 22nd, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, so the, 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 the color for the day is yellow. Um, and I saw that actually before I started uh, recording, started the recording, started the video. Um, and that was definitely, I didn't, I didn't see it when the pre-shuffle was out, but the judgment card, um, the side of the card that we, were, that we got today was, was full of sunlight, all right? And yellow is sunlight, yellow is illumination, yellow is your willpower. I definitely believe like we're going through a period right now in which um, clarity and illumination is coming forward in how you want to proceed. What do you want to be doing in life? What do you want to be doing on your path? What do you want to be doing on your mission? What do you want to be doing in this next cycle of your life, okay? Um, and yes, with Mars in Virgo, this is definitely a perfect time to reassess and to plan all of that, yeah? Mars did re move into Virgo a few days ago, and you guys mentioned how yesterday, uh, yesterday, you guys, some of you mentioned in the comments how... Um, Mars being in Virgo would cause over, anal over analysis, over analytical thinking and all that stuff, um, overthinking, whatever. Um, but it's also a good time to plan. And I kind of feel like that's why we're at this period right now where we're trying to reassess, which like for me, it's translating in not really doing personal readings right now just so that I can make sure my energies are in alignment, right? Because I don't want to give anybody a, a shitty reading. That's not, that's not cute. Collective readings, for some reason, are different for me. I don't know why. But anyway, I'm going to give this three shuffles. And we'll see. We'll see what we've got for the day. What do you want to discuss with us today, spirit? Best message. Please, last shuffle here. And we'll see. All right. Okay, well, he, wait, wait. Here's judgment again. Before I shuffle, I want to show you guys. This, it's this side of the card that came out. You see that? The sunlight? That's the yellow that I'm seeing, okay? All right, guys, here we go. Best messages, please, spirit, for today, Thursday, August 22nd. Thursday, August 22nd. Woof, 2019. Okay, there, there she blows. All right, ooh. Okay, overall energy is the Six of Wands in reverse with death in reverse. All right, immediately, the first thing I'm getting from this is there is a victory at hand, but there is resistance to this victory. Six of Wands is in reverse. Why? Because there's some sort of transformation that's in, re in, in, in resistance. Or someone is in resistance to some sort of transformation. Now, this could, this could also translate, this death in reverse could translate into, um, you know, just being in the process of a death, which actually makes a lot of sense. I'm going to leave that 
side up. Um, actually makes a whole lot of sense with what it is we're going through right now. Okay. Um, these are interesting energies. We have the Six of Swords and the Ten of Swords, both in reverse. Then we have the Page of Swords with the Page of Wands, Page of Wands being in reverse. And then we have the Chariot. Page of Wands. This is really interesting. The Page of Wands could be bad news. I don't feel like it is. I feel like somebody has something that they want to share. Somebody has some, mm, I just heard somebody has some sort of guidance that they want to give. Or at least somebody has something that they want to say, something that they're passionate about, something that, something that they want to start. They want to create a new project. Okay, all right. So for some of you, this could be some sort of mission work. Maybe you are a reader. Maybe you are wanting to, I'm getting specifically that someone may want to start a channel. Someone may want to start doing readings. Someone, uh, Reiki also. Some of you may be wanting to, to, to practice Reiki, study Reiki, start a, a business somehow. There's some sort of new form of spiritual practice or there's some sort of new form of mission work I feel like that's coming through here, especially with the chariot, okay? Now, this is the side of the card in which the chariot is riding off into distance. You're seeing the chariot's, the chariot rider's back. You're seeing the back of the cart. But here, what this, I, because this illustration here does look like, you know, either the ground beneath the chariot is appearing as the chariot moves forward, or it's, uh, um, um, it could mean that, you know, well, no, that's actually, I was going to say, or it's just it's non-existent. But it's kind of the same thing. I don't know. Uh, what I'm saying is, what I'm feeling from this is that you are absolutely creating your own path. You're creating your own destiny. And that could be why we're at this judgment sector, sector in which, you know, things are being reassessed. Um, someone is coming into a realignment. I feel like, for the most part, everybody that's been going through this kind of negative negative feeling, low vibrational energy, whatnot, we're all going through some sort of reassessment. For some of us, we're already on the path. Like for me, I've been doing this channel uh, for, a, for over a year and a half now. I'm not really going to be not doing the channel. However, how I do my readings or how I, what I provide, the content that I provide on my channel is about to change. Why? I'm getting back into twin flame if you want to call it that but i am basically um more so divine partnership divine mirror mirror divine union readings right and i hadn't i haven't i stopped that hard body <laughs> for a while but that was because of my own okay my own resentment towards the situation i just wasn't i couldn't talk about it anymore but now I'm getting back into that, okay? So in that case, there could be some situation in which you've gone through a, a death or a transformation already, okay? Um, and now this victory, maybe the victory is at hand for you and yet you're not, you're not seeing it, you're not receiving it, you are in resistance to it. Now it does not look like a pretty scene here, all right? But the Six of Wands came out yesterday and it was this side of the card. Right here, uh, it's this side of the card, but it's reversed. And I feel like some of you are, are in this energy of in resistance to it. And this resistance is it doesn't look the way you wanted it to. It doesn't look the way you thought it would. So, for example, in terms of me getting back into Twin Flame, Divine Partnership, Divine Union readings, what transpired on my journey does not look like the way I wanted it to, does not look the way I thought it was going to, does not look the way I was told, I was shown, I was feeling it was going to. It is all the actual antithesis. It's the exact opposite. It's the exact, literally the exact opposite. And yet, divine union, if you want to call it a twin flame, call it a twin flame. But that's still possible, right? So for me, and it's funny because I got a reading, I got a reading done 
from Emily of um, uh, 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 Indigo Moons. I love her. I've been following her for, for the longest time, for at least over a year now. Um, and I got a reading from her and it was spot the fuck on, <laughs> okay? And it's really only helped me you know, solidify that I'm going in the right direction. But one of the messages was, Eric, you just need to get over it. I mean, yeah, there were a lot of profound things that, 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 that you were shown, that whatever, that, was, that would happen, but just get over it. Stop wearing this mask. Stop wearing this ego mask. And she was absolutely right. Now, obviously, it was a divine saying that, but they both, everybody was right. They were all right. Get over it, right? That was my personal message. And, and so, no, yes, I've gone through this transformation. Transformation has happened, but it doesn't look the way I wanted it to. And so uh, because of that, I was in resistance to it. I was like, no, fuck this. I'm not doing this shit anymore. This isn't real. Oh, really? Oh, really? Joke's on you, buddy. <laughs> you see? All right. So then we have the Six of Swords and we have the Ten of Swords. Both are in reverse, okay? The worst is over. And for the most part, a lot of you have emerged from this sort of cocoon. A lot of you have left the past behind. Or have you? Have you completely left the past behind? I'm not quite sure. Are you sure? Hmm. <laughs> I feel like there are some last dregs of whatever this past is, whatever this Ten of Swords is, left behind. Not, I'm sorry, still being held on to. Not yet quite, not quite left behind yet because someone is holding back on a message that they want to deliver. It's like you're looking for the right time to, I'm, okay, fine. I'm going to use myself as an, ex as an example here. I have been in this Page of Swords energy looking for the absolute right time, best time for me to do this. Seeking, 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 trying to figure out when is the best time for me to do it? What's the best way for me to do it? I'm talking about these readings. What's the best format for me to do it? Okay, I went out and I got a new, a new Oracle deck. All right, that was absolutely, that was pretty good. That was a good, a good step. At this point though, the last thing for me to do is just fucking do it. Now, I am taking a break from a ton of readings and I'm, I'm doing a ton of readings next week, a ton of collective readings next week. So at this point, I think it's best for me personally to just chill, meditate on it, collect my thoughts, and plan on doing it next week. But even as I'm saying that to you, a part of me is like, mm, am I just procrastinating? No, not really. Not really. At this point, I don't think we're really procrastinating too much because with the chariot here, I do feel like there is movement that wants to be made. And I think spirit is also very aware of that on our behalf. It's like, all right, look, we know y'all are gonna get moving when you're ready to get moving. We're not trying to rush you here. Your egos are. I, I, spirit, I hear you. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Cool. All right. So with all that said, let's get some clarification. I want to go with the Golden Universal Tarot today. Clarification slash closing messages from the Tarot in regards to this. And we're just going to do, we're just going to go across the board, actually... Yeah, that is a good idea. I'm gonna clarify this stuff first. No, what I'm going to, okay, we are gonna break this up. We're gonna break this down. We're gonna start with the Six of Swords and the Ten of Swords. One last shuffle here. All right, here we go. Oh, called, yeah, all right. Seven of Wands is underneath the deck so far. Um, there is, there is a, a good amount of guardedness. Some of it is necessary, sure, but others, on the other hand, there, are, there is a form of guardedness here in which people might kind of be blocking themselves from help from the universe, guidance from the universe. There, I do feel a, 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 a bit of mistrust, distrust, excuse me, distrust in the universe right now for some of you with this Seven of Wands energy. You have to trust the universe. You also need to trust yourself. 
The universe absolutely is on your side. The universe absolutely does have your back. I, I do, I, I do want to point out, when I was a kid, I used to think the universe was against me. And I feel like that's kind of a little bit of the energy that, that's coming through right now. But you need to understand that the universe is ever only trying to provide you with exactly what it is you want. But the more that you believe that the universe is against you, trying to sabotage you, whatnot, whatever, the more of that you will create in your reality or, or and, and the universe won't be able to bring you what it is it's, you want and what it is it's been trying to bring you all along, okay? So let's talk about this Six of Swords, Ten of Swords a little bit more. Just a little clarity here, please, Spirit. Okay, yeah, see? Oh, boy, that's a lot. Damn, look at that, y'all. Okay. Overall energy is the Knight of Wands. So this energy, whatever it is you're coming out of with this Ten of Swords energy, it is absolutely leading you on a path of spiritual enlightenment. This is the light worker card for me, the Knight of Wands. This is someone, the reason, part of the reason, in my opinion, part of the reason why the Knight of Wands gets such a bad rap, this is a lot of cards, by the way. Do you see all that? Okay, we're gonna talk about that in a second. But part of the reason why the Knight of Wands gets a bad rap is because he's seen as wishy-washy. He's here one second and gone the next. Now, in some cases, if this is just a phallic symbol, if this is someone that's just like hot and heavy and like hot to trot and blah, 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 and just wants to, you know, do the nasty, whatnot, whatever, looking for a one night stand. OK, that's a, not the best reputation, depending on your your perspective. But also, this is a light worker. This is someone that is a light, a, a spiritual warrior that goes on where he needs to go on behalf of the light to spread light, to shine light, to, to, to spread warmth and care and guidance. And then he's off to the next as soon as his job is done. Okay. I mean, that's a mutable energy for you. Straight up. But anyway, okay. So whatever it is that you've been through here. Wowie, wow, wow. Okay, whatever it is that you've been through here has set you up to be somewhat of a somewhat of a light worker here. One of the first cards at the very bottom of this pile, the Ten of Swords again. All right, you got the Ten of Swords, you got the King of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, Strength, Page of not, sorry Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Wands again. You see, victory is here. Victory is at hand. You have already succeeded. We'll get, I'll keep going. The Lovers, Ace of Cups, Six of Cups, Five of Pentacles. Regardless of whatever it is you've been through here, there are some of you that still feel like you're just not enough. We could be talking to a masculine energy. It doesn't have to be a masculine energy because we do have the King of Pentacles here, all right? So this is either a masculinely oriented individual or we're talking about the masculine energy within you. We have the King of Pentacles that is sandwiched right in between this 10 and 9 of Swords energy. So even though whatever it is that you've been through with this 10 of Swords, all the cycles and stuff that have now come to a close. And at this point, I really do feel like they've come to a close. All right. But you're in resistance to it. But this has come to a close here and it's brought you to this King of Pentacles state. And yet you're still in anxiety here. You're needing... I'm just going to say it this way because this is how the spirit is coming through with it. Y'all need to just buck up. And no, I'm not saying man up. I'm saying buck up. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Believe in yourself. There is a need to believe in the person that you have grown into. You have your own solid idea of who you are as an individual. And that, that most likely goes against the status quo. Okay? But actually, that's, ooh, you see? But that's why. That's the problem. Because you've come to an understanding of something that's much greater than what the collective consciousness, the, 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 the sheeple, I guess we'll call them, understands or accepts. You stand on your own here. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But you have to believe in yourself. Okay? You have the Knight of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. This kind of feels like a past energy. Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Wands. You moved slowly but surely. You did the work. 
You did everything correctly. You reaped what you've sown, and now you have victory here. You have balance. You have union. You have inner harmony. You now have a cup to give. Why? Because you have filled your cup. Your cup is full. You are moving towards an alignment with a soulmate, a divine counterpart, a twin flame, regardless of whether or not it's the person that you originally thought it was. You're moving towards some sort of divine partnership. Six of, six of cups, ace of cups, the lovers. And yet you still feel inadequate. This is still plaguing you. I might want to get some oracle guidance on that specifically. But now let's get, let's move forward. Let's get to the seven, I'm sorry. You know what? I am going to combine these. The six of, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> the page of swords, the page of wands, the, and the chariot. The page of wands is in reverse. Someone is not quite ready to deliver a message yet. You're seeking a way to do this. This could be twofold. This could be in your divine partnership or union with another person, but it also could be your mission work. I do actually, I believe it's a combination of both. For some of you, it's being in this divine partnership or some sort of divine union with another individual with, we'll say with another external being that is part of your mission work. That is part of your, okay. So this five of pentacles energy might be a reaction to the fact that you don't necessarily have this individual in your life right now, but you might know about them. Sure. But they're not physically there. You might have to travel to get to them, the chariot and Money and finances could be an issue. But again, you're doubting yourself. Why? Because you're in this King of Pentacles state already. You can, I literally, I literally just heard the future is yours. You have the stability to create the abundance that you would need to do whatever it is you want. But you have to start believing in yourself. This Nine of Swords energy this shit right here, this is self-fulfilling prophecies. So the more you focus on this, the more of this you're going to get. The more that you believe that the universe is against you, the more the universe will have to appear to be against you. And yes, I said that correctly. The more the universe will have to appear to be against you. Why? It's your belief system. We can only work within the confines of your own personal belief system. We are infinite, yes. But you have a part in that too. All right, so let's get some clarity here on this Page of Swords, Page of Wands, Chariot energy. That's enough. Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords. Woo! The Three of Swords. Interesting. Heartbreak is holding you back. Not wanting to get your heart broken. Again. That is completely valid and understandable. But to be quite honest, the Queen of Swords energy says, enough with the bullshit. Why? Because the more you focus on heartbreak, the more heartbreak you are going to receive. The Queen of Swords says, cut the bullshit and get the pedal to the metal. Get the axe, get the hammer to the anvil. Oh shit. Oh shit. Do any of you watch Water Baby Tarot? If not, I highly suggest you start doing so. She just put out a channeled message yesterday. Um, that actually is a message I've been getting also. But because of my whole aversion <laughs> to talking about the twin flame situation, all my resistance to that, I haven't spoken about it. But I highly suggest that you guys watch that reading. It's um, a channeled message, and I think it says part one. It was released on the 21st, which was at this point yesterday. Um, 
or at the time of this, I'm recording this, it was, it was yesterday. Uh, but a big part of that message was she saw a hammer and an anvil, which represents the masculine and feminine energies. Eight of Pentacles is that craftsmanship, is that hard work. Queen of Swords says, just fucking do it. Quit your bitching. Oof, I wanted to say quit your bitching and get in the kitchen. <laughs> Whoa, that's bad. That is bad. But if you want to take the sexism out of it, quit your bitching and get in the kitchen is like, start cooking, man. Start fucking cooking. I love to cook. I love to cook. And I love, I love, I love alchemy. I love chemistry. I love like combining things, the whole temperance. Hello, temperance. I want to get a little bit more here. Should I use a different deck? Okay, hold on a second. We're gonna use the um, the Dreaming Way Tarot. I wanna get a little last bit of guidance here for this Queen of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. And then I'm gonna pull out the Lenormand deck so I can clarify this Five of Pentacles here. And then we're gonna get our Oracle guidance from the dragons, yes? All right, Oh, one last shuffle, take this card first. The Hierophant, okay, all right, okay. Just a little bit more, please. This Queen of Swords, Eight of Pentacles energy. There it is right there, all right, cool, all right, cool. Um, that's enough. All right. Overall, <laughs> we're definitely talking to some masculines here. The emperor. Okay. Um, so there's definitely an energy in which someone needs to be teaching with the hierophant. They need to be teaching. And it's from your personal struggles that you have become equipped to teach. Justice. Interesting. These are all major arcana. The Emperor, the Hierophant, the Hanged Man, and Justice. Okay. Um, someone's definitely meant to teach. Now, the emperor is an energy of taking your power back, of being on your own path, being in control of your, the master of your domain. I just, I just heard seeing clearly what it is you are here to represent, what you are here to create, what you are here to embody, who you are meant to be. This emperor, even though this emperor does feel, it is someone that's, you know, very, it's, it's the masculine energy, so it's fixed. Um, it's, it, they can be controlling. They often can do keep to tradition of some sort, but a balanced and, 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 and a well-grounded masculine energy, or masculine energy, yes, or emperor, all right? Uh, a healthy emperor energy is controlling, but is only controlling to the extent that they are doing something a certain way because they are looking for a certain outcome and they know that this way works. They're not controlling in the sense that they want you to be something that you're not, no. That is a narcissistic emperor. That is a reversed emperor, a twisted, a twisted masculine energy, right? Here, this emperor feels like someone who is very sure of himself, very, very much stands tall, know what it is he stands for, and is not afraid to go against the grain, is not afraid to push the envelope, has something to teach here, has come out of some sort of confinement, okay? Between the Hierophant and the Hanged Man, I de and, and ooh, wow, okay, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain this. In the... Um, the Vice Versa deck, which is the first deck that I use for this, this reading here, right? 
you have the Hierophant, which in this deck is shown as two people kneeling before the Hierophant, right? Which is how it's actually depicted in the original Rider Waite deck. Now, in this, in this deck here, the Hierophant wears a mask, so you can't really see the individual underneath the mask, all right? That represents dogma. It represents indoctrination. It represents conformity. It represents the status quo. But then, in this same deck, the, the vice versa deck, when you get to the, to the hanged man, you see those, two, those same two individuals from the Hierophant card that were kneeling before the Hierophant, now standing in front of the hanged man saying, whoa, wait a second, there is a whole new way to look at this. So by the time you reach the hanged man in this deck, now you're being faced with everything other everything outside of the dogma of the Hierophant. And so what I'm seeing here with the Hierophant and the Hanged Man is someone has come to a place in their life where they were, they were subjected to, they dealt with the dogma, the indoctrination, the status quo and all of that shit. And now they've come out of it with a new vision. And now all of the Five of Pentacles energy that they were forced into feeling the lack mentality that was basically pushed upon them because of the circumstances of their past, now they have a way to bring justice to that. Okay, so actually we got the clarification we needed for that Five of Pentacles. You might be feeling this Five of Pentacles energy here, but it is only in an effort to remind you of where you came from and what it is you're moving towards what it is you're meant to teach, what it is you are here to show to people. Okay, so we don't need the Lenormand deck. Masculine energies. The masculine energies are getting ready to step up. Now, this could be uh, a masculinely oriented individual, this could also be the masculine energy within you. Now think about it this way, masculine energy is the action taker, right? So some of you could actually be getting on mission, getting into your emperor divine masculine energy and saying, pushing forward, let's do this. Let's motherfucking do this. <laughs> All right, let's get your oracle guidance here. And it's so perfect, it is so perfect. I'm really glad that I listened to my intuition in using this deck, this uh, the dragon deck today, because who are we talking to? None other than the masculine energies. And I bought this deck to specifically guide the masculine energies. Per perfect. That's fucking beautiful. Last shuffle. I'm really excited. Let's see, let's get some Oracle guidance, please. Spirit, to close out. Just let it come out naturally, all right. To close out this reading, Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit. There it is. One more. I want to get two. I'm being called to get two today. We have... Oh, wow. You see? One last card, please, Spirit. One last card. There it is right there. Just one. You don't need to... Ooh. All right. I got three. <laughs> I got three. Good golly, I'm gonna take all of these. Underneath the deck, you have white gold dragon from Lyra or Lyra, I think it's Lyra actually. Connects you to the highest Christ light. Develop your causal chakra. Your causal chakra, is that your sacral? I, I, I'm assuming, I, I think it's your sacral? I mean, it's orange, so I can only imagine, I, I don't know, put down in the comment section what the causal chakra is. It says, bathe in ninth dimensional Christ light. This is Christ consciousness coming through. And this is the energy that we're all kind of assimilating. We're all kind of trying to bring into this world, Christ consciousness right now. That's more, we're bringing more of that, especially those of us that are on twin flame journeys. The twin flame journey is not about being in a relationship with an external being. The Twin Flame journey is about learning about unconditional love and spreading, sharing unconditional love, teaching others about unconditional love, led by Christ consciousness. We have Earth and Fire Dragon. 
works with you to clear fifth dimensional ley lines. It's time for service. When you give, you receive. That is a major, that is a dominant vibration of the fifth dimension, service to others. And that's the dimension that we're moving into right now. Now, it is not the end all be all. By no means is it the end. Fifth, moving into the fifth dimension is just part of the journey. But at this time, the earth is moving into that dimension right now. And so this is why people are being pushed towards service or mission or light work. Okay? You have Orange Dragon, brings soul families and communities together, spread belonging, warmth, and oneness. Bring people together, bring people everywhere together. This is part of your mission. This is part of what you are teaching or what you are meant to teach, what you're meant to embody, what you're meant to stand for, what you're meant to represent. The, the, the emperor energy, a balanced emperor energy is all about community and family, is all about commitment, is committed to those that they serve, to, is committed to the, 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 their domain, is committed to their people. Yes, the emperor and the empress are rulers, sure, if you want to look at it from a hierarchical point, point of view, okay, yes, they are rulers of their domain. But they are compassionate. They are loving. They are about togetherness. They are about oneness. They are about communities. They are about soul families. And what you have learned here between the Hierophant and the Hanged Man energy is giving you fuel to spread and teach true oneness and togetherness. Because to be quite honest, this Hierophant energy here is divisive, is controlling, is separative. The biggest piece of this biggest, and it's 9-11 as I'm seeing this right now. That is a call to action. Anyway, the biggest way, the biggest way that the Hierophant energies are, are, are divisive, divisive is in separating us from source, making us, in many ways, many organized religions do this, or at least have done this in the past, but have disconnected, worked to disconnect us from our divinity, worked to make us feel less than, not worthy of connecting with God, being a part of God, uh, uh, communicating with God directly, things like that have worked to make us fear God. We are God, guys. <laughs> we are God embodied. And so are all the plants and animals around you. Everything around you is God. You can never be separate from God. You can never be unworthy of God. It's time to bring people back together. Final card. Gold and silver violet flame dragon, the violet flame, transmutes the old around you with wisdom and grace. It is time for transmutation, magic, and healing. Offer service under grace. And you see the butterfly on this card? I have been seeing, it looks like a monarch. It does look like a monarch butterfly. I have been seeing monarch butterflies like crazy this year. I don't remember seeing so many monarch butterflies before. And I've lived in this area for two years now. I, I do not remember ever seeing this many butterflies, yes, but monarchs specifically. Violet flame. Work with the violet flame, y'all. I used to work with the violet flame before I really, well, actually, as I was really going through my activation, I was still with my ex-husband at the time. Uh, and we had dogs and I remember every time, every morning, when I would take the dogs out for the morning walk, I would practice the violet flame meditation while I was walking and it, it changed my life. It helped too, it was part of it. It was happening anyway, but the violet flame really helped. If you like, you can go back to my twin flame readings. I would say starting from January of this year, January, 2019 and on until I stopped. Um, you know, actually, you might even be able to go back a little more. I want because it was when I moved into this room in my apartment, which was October of last year. 
So maybe start October, November, but I was doing a violet flame meditation in the beginning of the weekly twin flame readings. And those, those were the live ones. So look for the live streams. If you want some practice with a, tw with a, a violet flame meditation, also you can Google it. This is a beautiful reading, you guys. It's masculinely oriented, sure. We could be talking about the masculine individuals, individuals that resonate more with masculine energy, or we could be talking about the masculine energy within you. I love it either way. And I love you all, yes? Okay, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Um, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning, yeah? Take care. Bye.